Hi learners! Once again, I am Mom Sharnes, your English 5 teacher, and welcome back to our English class. In this video, I will be discussing three lessons. Why will I include three lessons in just one single video? Because all of these lessons that I will be discussing to you are interconnected from one another. They are just separated in English 5 module. Without further ado, let us start. I will be discussing point of view, viewpoints of images, and viewing materials. That is our lesson 4, 5, and 6. Let's first talk about point of view. When you are watching TV, what opinions or feelings do you usually express? Have you experienced feeling of happiness or sadness towards a particular show? These feelings or opinions that you were expressing on a particular material like TV shows, TV programs, pictures are known as point of view, also called as viewpoints. Point of view are also known as viewpoint. It refers to someone's perspective or opinion of a certain thing. It is the standpoint of a person on a particular thing that he or she saw, read, or experienced. When we say standpoint, learners, ito yung sarili mong pananaw o opinion sa isang bagay. Maaring pananaw mo sa nakita mo, nabasa mo o naranasan mo. Now, let's talk about viewpoints of images. In viewing, Point of view deals with one's personal opinion or perception about the viewing material, such as videos and images or illustrations. It is called viewpoints of images. When we say viewpoints of images, it is specifically talking about your perception. Pinag-uusapan natin dito yung opinion mo or pananaw mo sa mga bagay na nakikita mo o napapanood mo. A viewer expresses own perceptions or opinion on the concepts and context of the given viewing piece to express one's feeling about it. Maaring yung nakikita mo o napapanood mo o nababasa mo, maaring magkaroon ka ng sariling opinion doon base sa nilalaman or doon sa context ng iyong nabasa. In short, viewing refers to perceiving, examining, interpreting, and constructing meaning from visual images. Having point of views is improving your comprehension. Kasi mas na-exercise yung pag-iisip mo. There are different types of viewing materials. And viewing materials are categorized into two. Meron tayong print viewing materials and non-print viewing materials. Napakasimple lang ng kaulugan ng print viewing materials or PM in short. Print viewing materials, ito yung mga viewing materials na ipinrint or nakaprint. It consists of all printed images found in textbooks, workbooks, reference books, magazines, newspapers, and journals. Lahat ng mga nakikita mong nakaprint or nasa papel. Ito ay mga print viewing materials. Kasama din dito yung mga printed version ng mapa, ng mga picture, ng mga painting, drawing, poster, infographics, mga graphs na nakaprint, and other two-dimensional art. Two-dimensional art, ito yung mga nasa papil lang. Flat lang siya. And non-print viewing materials, 
or NPM are materials that do not depend on the printed sources. Kung ang print viewing materials ay mga two-dimensional, ang non-print viewing materials ay mga three-dimensional arts like diorama, mga globo, mga puppet, any kinds na model. Example is model na sasakyan na miniature ng sasakyan, model or miniature ng bahay, and other projected materials such as films or movies, film strips, commercials, videotapes, and television shows. Even yung mga nakikita natin or napapanood natin videos sa internet, sa YouTube, sa Facebook, lahat yun ay examples ng non-print viewing materials. Yung mga television channels, mostly nariyan yung mga palabas na nakikita natin. Mga commercials, mga TV shows, all of those are in digital form. What is your point of view in these images? Let's talk about your viewpoints of images kapag nakikita mo ito mo. Point of view may vary. Hindi naman lahat ng tao pare-parehas ng opinion o pagtingin sa isang bagay. Maaring iba yung masabi nila sa isang bagay na nakita nila or napanood nila. And point of view of a person can have lots of interpretation. Hindi naman isang interpretation lang yung maaring maibigay ng isang tao or kahit sino man. Maaring madami tayong kaisipan o ideya na maibigay or maipahayag sa mga bagay na nakikita natin. How about you? What can you say about these pictures? Ano yung mga nararamdaman mo or na iisip mo ang makita mo itong tatlong larawan ito. You might think that these children are unfortunate or unprivileged. You might feel sad about it. You might be thinking of some concepts like malnutrition or poverty. There are lots of perceptions or point of view that you might be thinking right now because of these pictures. Hindi lang isang salita or isang word. Maaari mong palawakin yung mga naiisip mo. Another examples. What is your point of view in this picture? May naisip ka na ba? You might think of life, hope, peace, new beginning, happiness. How about in these two pictures? Which family do you think has good relationship with one another? You're right. It's letter B. Which one is not? You're right again. It's letter A. How do you come up with those conclusion or why do you think so? Very good. Kasi nakikita mo silang masaya, nag-uusap. Compared sa letter A, mukhang nagtatalo yung mag-asawa. And busy sa pagla-laptop ang father, busy sa gadgets yung dalawang anak. So, napakadaming ideas na maaaring pumasok sa isip mo. These family have no time for each other because... They are busy with their gadgets. They are busy working. 
nawawala na yung bond ng pamilya. Hindi kagaya dito sa isa na may time pang mag-usap. Hindi sila nakatutok dun sa kanilang mga gadgets or sa kanilang trabaho. They make time to bond and talk with each other. Another, let's try again. What is your point of view in these two pictures? Describe your feelings when you saw these pictures. Do you have different or the same feeling when you saw these pictures? Pareho ba yung naramdaman mo? Kung makita mo yung dalawang letrat mo? Magkapareho ba yung ideya na naisip mo kung makita mo yung dalawang pictures mo? I will give you some time to think. You may write down your ideas or feelings when you saw this picture. You can write at least three to five sentences. Ano yung naiisip mo or nare-realize mo nung makita mo yung dalawang pictures na ito? Try to write your own standpoint or viewpoints of images. Okay? You can pause this video kung hindi ka pa tapos, pero kung tapos ka na, in the next one. I have different viewpoints in this picture. In the first picture, this forest looks like a peaceful place to live, away from the busy and chaotic city. It is a simple yet a very relaxing place that can give comfort. It is one of the gods' amazing creation that nothing like any man-made can ever surpass or can be better. Well, in the next picture, it makes me sad. It shows us how cruel humans can be. How some of us can be so greedy and ungrateful. This is example on how to write your own point of view. Now let's discuss more about viewpoints of images. Focus muna tayo learners sa mga viewpoints of images. Viewpoints differ from person to person like what I said a while ago. May kanya-kanyang opinion o palagay ang bawat tao sa mga bagay na kanilang nakikita, babasa, naririnig, or nararanasan. Even sa mga issue sa politics, di ba? May kanya-kanya tayong viewpoints or standpoints sa mga issue na napapanood natin. Pero meron din namang isang perception or viewpoint na na overgeneralize. The common perceptions on a certain thing is known as stereotyping. Stereotypes are overgeneralized beliefs which create positive and negative effects to different groups. Stereotypes are beliefs that all people within the same gender or age or cultural group will act alike and will share the same viewpoints and attitudes. Here in stereotyping, nagkakaroon ng prejudgment na husgahan mo na ang isang bagay dahil ang alam mo lahat pare-pareho. I will give you example later para mas maintindihan niyo yung idea ng stereotyping. Stereotypes ignore differences which is considered as form of discrimination. It may be true to some, but not to all, and should neither be tolerated nor accepted. Here are the different types of stereotyping. 
First is the gender profiling. Gender profiling are the stereotyping among men and women. Ito yung pagbibigay mo ng opinion o palagay sa isang babae o sa isang lalaki na akala mo lahat ganun pero hindi naman. Men are strong and do all the work. There is this stereotyping na kapag lalaki, malalakas yan. Dapat sila lahat yung gumagawa ng trabaho. Pero hindi naman lahat ganun. There are some men na emotionally weak sila. Or hindi lang emotionally, pwedeng physically din. Na hindi naman lahat ng lalaki is kailangan sila lang yung magtatrabaho. Men should be the family breadwinners. Meron din tayong opinion or point of view na kapag lalaki, dapat sila lang yung magtatrabaho. Sila dapat yung kumikita. Let's talk about women. There is the stereotype about women that women are naturally and highly emotional beings. There is this point of view of some people that women are weak or emotional, that women are supposed to know how to cook and clean. Kapag babae, dapat marunong maglinis, marunong magluto. Or kapag babae, dapat dyan ka lang sa bahay. Nasa bahay ka, nag-aalaga ng mga anak mo. Those are some of the viewpoints or stereotypes sa mga babae at lalaki. Lalo na before. Pero ngayon na medyo nagiging open-minded na yung mga tao, nagiging less na lang yung mga taong nag-iisip ng ganito. Kasi, kasi lahat ng tao ay mayroong pagkakaiba. Lahat ng tao mayroong unique qualities. So, we should not ever tolerate stereotyping. Another example naman sa trabaho. Karaniwan na iisip natin or ang point of view natin kapag ang work is driver o taxi driver, jeepney driver, ay lalaki yan. Pero hindi naman lahat. Meron ding mga babae na mga driver. Meron ding iba pang mga work or profession kagaya ng pulis. Ang pulis hindi lang naman pang lalaki. May mga pulis din na babae. Merong mga bumbero na mga babae din. Hindi lang sila puro mga lalaki. So, usually nakakaroon din talaga ng stereotyping pagdating sa mga trabaho. And sa mga boys, meron ding stereotyping. For example, kapag fashion designer, meron tayong point of view na babae yan. O kaya kapag manikurista, babae yan. Pero meron din namang mga lalaki na nandi dito sa ganitong field of work. Another example of stereotyping is yung physical appearance. Nagkakaroon tayo ng point of view kasi ito yung in ng ating lipunan or ng ating society na kapag maganda or ang ideal ng isang magandang babae ay kailangan may kurba yan or kailangan sexy. We have this kind of stereotyping din sa mga lalaki na kailangan para maging guwapo ka or maganda kang tingnan, kailangan macho ka, kailangan may abs, kailangan wala kang malaking chat. So these are some of the stereotyping among men and women. Next kind of stereotype is ageism or age stereotypes. Ageism is the stereotyping and discrimination based on people's age. So when we say discrimination, parang pinamaliit na natin sila or minamata na natin sila base sa edad. Old people love staying on a quiet place. The older you get, the more mature you become. And based on this picture then, 
nagkakaroon din ng discrimination pagdating sa work. Yung ibang mga tao, kapag nasa work, ang tingin nila dun sa work nila na medyo maedad na, is mabagal magtrabaho, o kaya di makahabol sa paggamit ng technology. Or meron din namang stereotyping na hindi lang sa mga matatanda, ah. even sa mga bata, meron stereotype na youths are rebellious, easy go lucky, hindi masyadong pinag-iisipan ng future, yun lang yung ilan sa mga stereotyping. And marami pang klase ng pag-stereotype pagdating sa age. And the person who receives the judgment or prejudgment can feel bad about it. He or she will feel discriminated. Parang masakit sa isang tao na nai-stereotype. Kagaya nitong dalawang pictures na to, di ba? Mukhang hindi talaga sila natutuwa. Masakit sa feeling yung nilulook down ka. Dahil sa mga naiisip nila tungkol sa iyo. Kaya, hindi talaga pinotolerate itong stereotype. Next is cultural stereotypes. Stereotypes also prevail in cultures. Examples are as follows. Filipinos are family-oriented. They care for their elders. Filipinos are hospitable. Yung mga may positive stereotype. Kasi positive yung point of view. Pero, we should still remind ourselves na hindi naman talaga lahat ng Filipino families ay ganito. O meron pa rin talagang kanya-kanyang uri ng relationship ng isang pamilya. Another cultural form of stereotyping na negative naman is kapag pinagtawanan mo naman yung kanilang ginagawa na bahagi ng kanilang kultura or tradition. For example, kung nagpunta ka ng Baguio and nakakita ka ng mga aita na nakabahag tapos pinagtawanan mo, nagdi-discriminate ka ng tao nun because it's part of their tradition and they're used to it. Pero ikaw, dahil meron kang different point of view or para sa iyo hindi yun normal na kasuotan you are doing a stereotype kasi hindi naman pare-pareho lahat ng kultura at marami pang ibang klase ng cultural stereotyping and now let's talk about the types of point of view Ano nga ulit yung ibig sabihin ng point of view? Point of view is a reflection of the opinion of a person towards something. These are the three major kinds of point of view. First person point of view, second person point of view, and third person point of view. First person point of view involves the use of either of the pronouns I, me, my, Myself, mine, us, we, are, and ourselves. Now, these types of point of view we will be talking more about on grammar here. We will now talk about the structure on how we write a point of view. Ito yung klase ng pagsulat ng point of view. It is more on grammar, okay? So, eto nga, kapag first person point of view, ang karaniwang ginagamit natin na mga pronouns ay I, me, my, myself, mine, us, we, are, and ourselves. Kapag sinabi natin first person point of view, we are talking about ourselves. Pinag-uusapan natin yung ating sarili, yung ating sariling opinion or sarili mong karanasan, sariling pangyayari na nangyari sa'yo. Example, 
I think if we focus on our goals and act on it, we will definitely succeed. In this example, our clue are the pronouns I, we, and are. In this example, it is clear that the speaker is including his or herself in this point of view. Next is the second person point of view. It involves the use of either of the pronoun you, your and yourself, or yourselves. Dito naman, mayroong direct ng kausap ang nagsasalita. It belongs to the person or people being addressed. This is the you perspective. Example, you should study hard to make your dreams come true. Dito sa point of view na ito, maliwanag na may kinakausap ang nagsasalita. Mayroon siyang pinagsasabihan or mayroon siyang direktang kinakausap. It can be one, two, or more person that he or she is talking. Next, the third person point of view. It involves the use of he, she, him, her, or hers, his, they, their, or theirs, them, it, and its. It belongs to the person or people being talked about. Hindi siya kasali sa pinag-uusapan. Wala ang direct na niyang kausap, kundi mayroon lang siyang particular na tao na tinutukoy or binabanggit. Example, it takes them a lot of hard work to live the prosperous life that they have now. Take note, learners, that you cannot always rely on pronouns to tell you the perspective of a sentence. Hindi ka pwedeng umasa dito sa mga clue pronouns na ito because not all sentences include pronouns. Hindi lahat ng third-person point of view ay may pronouns. Example, Mike always hated school. Wala naman siyang pronoun, di ba? Pero, may binanggit siya na tao, si Mike. Again, the three types of point of view we have. First-person point of view, second-person point of view, and third-person point of view. Again, when we say first-person point of view, we talk about ourselves, our opinions, and things that happen to us. Pwedeng may kasama ka rin dito. In the second person point of view, you are addressing person or people. Meron kang direktang pinagsasabihan or kinakausap. In the third person point of view, it belongs to the person or people being talked about. Meron kang tao o mga tao na binabanggit or pinag-uusapan ngunit hindi ka kasali at hindi mo rin sila direct ang kausap. Now, let's talk about the point of view in narrative or story. Kung ang pinag-uusapan naman natin ay point of view sa isang kwento or sa isang narrative, these are the voice that is telling the story. Ito yung speaker or yung voices na nagsasalaysay ng kwento. Ang tawag natin doon sa nagsasalaysay ng kwento ay narrator. First person point of view. The narrator or the storyteller is a character in the story. Dito sa first person point of view in narrative or story, ang narrator or yung storyteller ay the character is telling the story from his or her point of view. The way the story tells may differ because of the different point of views of the characters. Kapag ang kwento ay nasa first person point of view, point of view ng character na nagsasalaysay ng kwento, yun lang ang alam ng reader. Maaaring magkaroon din ng magkaibang point of view. 
depende kung sino yung nagsasalaysay ng kwento. In this example, you can see pronouns that act as our clue to know that it is in first person point of view. Sinasalaysay niya yung kwento kasama ang kanyang sarili. Next is the second point of view. The narrator or the storyteller is directly speaking to the reader. It is the rarely used in narrative texts among the three point of views. Usually, it is used for instruction. Bihirang gamitin ang second person point of view kapag nagsasalaysay ka ng kwento. Kasi nga, mayroon ka ditong direct ng kausap. Usually, makikita natin ang second person point of view kapag nagsusulat ka ng letters. Kung meron kang pagbibigyan ng payo, susulatan mo yung taong yun. We are using the second person point of view. Pwede din naman siyang gamitin kapag nagbibigay ka ng instruction kung anong dapat gawin. Example, Dito sa text na to, may clue agad tayo. Merong word na you and your. Meaning, mayroong direktang kausap yung speaker or yung author. Last is the third point of view. The narrator or the storyteller is not a character in the story. Yung narrator ay hindi isang karakter sa kwento. The narrator in the third person point of view can tell thoughts, feelings, and action of all the characters. Actually, learners, marami pang iba't ibang klase ng third person point of view. Pero ito lang muna yung i-discuss natin sa ngayon. Example. So ang ating clue na pronouns dito ay yung she at yung he. Naging clue din natin yung mga noun na ginamit kaya ng granny. Yung wolf. Huwag kayong malilito dito sa may quotation mark na ito. Dahil nasa quotation mark siya, ibig sabihin nun, binanggit lang nung narrator yung eksaktong sinabi nung character. Remember learners, point of view is the standpoint or reflection of the opinion of a person towards something. While the viewpoints of images are the point of views that deal with one's personal opinion or perception about a viewing material such as videos and images or illustrations. And also do not forget that we have two types of viewing materials, print viewing materials and the non-print viewing materials. And that is it for our lesson today. I hope you learned something in this video. Once again, I am Mom Sharness, your English 5 teacher. Till next time, class dismissed.